What is going on, guys and girls? How are you doing? Today's single roleplay here once again, and I believe that I finally figured out the whole Atlas thing, and I would like to help you guys to understand the new system, how it works, what are the map tiers, what are the wash zones, what are the conquerors of the Atlas, what are the bosses, and all that shit. So uh, let's start with a bit of uh, introduction to the new system, and it's quite different from what we've seen previously. We had uh, this kind of atlas from the white to the red tiers. We started in the white tiers on the corners and been progressing to the center. This is this this is where we're like tier 16s and tier 15s. Now it's all different. Now we start there in the center and everything is white tiers and tiers increasing as we go to the corners of the map, uh, corners of the atlas instead. Uh, the next big change is there is no sheep or elder orbs anymore because there is literally no sheep or an elder. But it's possible to get the specific fragments for the sheep or an elder encounters, but as a uh, kind of a separate fight, uh, which is in, in the storyline, they do not exist anymore. There are new four bosses and one strong fifth boss in the game right now, which are the conquerors of the Atlas. So what do you do? You start in the center and everything is white. And your first quest is to find the conquerors of the atlas, which are they are hiding in the corners of the atlas. And what you got to do is you need to start doing these maps nearby and start progressing a little to the corner. This is where you will find your first boss. And by killing the boss, you drop a thing called Watchstone, which is this. This is the Watchstone. Uh, watchstones come in four different colors uh, depending on the conqueror and uh, you can insert watchstones in this kind of watchtowers which are kind of the citadels uh, yeah this these are called the citadels guys so once you discover uh, the uh, first the first conqueror you can go to his citadel defeat him and get his watchstone and then you can place these watchstones in the uh, these citadels they have four different watchstones to place there things on the left guys they are important and not only they can hold your watchstones but they can also tell you what you need to do to get the next watchstone this is very important to understand so how the whole thing works is there are four watchstones, uh, four different conquerors, and one big endgame boss, but we're not going to talk about the endgame boss now. Four watchstones, four conquerors. So what you're going to do is you want to round by round increase the tiers of maps and fight the conquerors over and over again and collect these sets of watchstones Place them in, collect another one, place them in, collect the one, another one, and kill over and over again these bosses so by placing the watchstone in this citadel you're increasing the tier of the maps in a whole fucking region there are like different regions over there as you can see and this thing on the left tells you exactly how many watchstones you need to insert in order to spawn another conqueror guys so for example you see i obtained all the watchstones from this region so I don't really need to do anything in this, but this region, I still need to insert four watchstones because there are two bosses that I need to spawn in this region. And in order to get them, I need to insert exactly four watchstones in this region. And in order to get this, I need to do that. I need to do this and I need to do that. So you see, now uh, how you do this for the first set of bosses is quite straightforward because all of these um, regions are kind of tier zero once you kill the first first four set of this conquerors of the atlas the whole region requires one watchstone to be inserted in the region to spawn yet another set of this conquerors if you kill one more set of all these four bosses all regions will increase by yet another tier and you will need to insert two watchstones per region to get uh, a boss. Another set, three watchstones and the last set is four watchstones. Increasing the watchstone, uh, incre inserting the watchstone you increase also the tiers of the map but also gives you the chance to spawn the conqueror of necessary level. So what I need to do with this is you can see I inserted four of this and now I have the chance to do uh, to spawn two different types of conquerors in these 
uh, area. Now, speaking about the whole uh, strategy, I would say, and the chance uh, to spawn the conquerors. So, first of all, about the conquerors, right? What? Uh, how do you spawn the conquerors overall? Uh, you spawn the conquerors. Um, completely randomly so you first of all you need to meet the requirements so this is kind of the requirement right you need to insert four different four different watch zones in the region to be able to spawn the conqueror so since i did this now i need to start doing random maps once you do the uh, the certain random map it will spawn kind of an influence it will just color the region and the corresponding color depending on the conqueror spawn if it's the poison boss there are different four different bosses uh the whole region will turn green and the leak stones will be fixed and uh kind of attached to the citadel and now you need to actually go and kill the conqueror of the atlas to be able to progress further they will be like bound to the citadel and the the green influence will spawn over there uh, so first you need to spawn the influence by doing random map and then you need to start actually searching for the conqueror citadel by doing yet another couple of random maps in the region and there are two different strategies, strategies that you can have. Uh, first is doing the random map, which is give you the higher chance to find the conqueror, discover the conqueror within the influence region. And the second strategy is doing the same map over and over again. And it gets 33%, like one, one slash three uh, chance to get the con to find the conqueror of the atlas doing the same map. I do not recommend uh, you doing the same map or and over again. I think it's a waste of time. Just do completely separate maps. Like for example, I, you see I have this, so I'll be doing like that and that and this, and I'm pretty sure I will find the conqueror here. So uh, what I recommend is uh, doing definitely the maps that we have available. So for example, you see I have this region over there and then I go and search like what maps. Uh, this is mostly tier 15s and tier 14s at this point for me. So I need to find oh, what maps do I have or I just can uh, do the maps that I haven't done yet. For example, this, unlock uh, this map and uh, yeah, spawn the conqueror. That's about it. Once you insert four... Um, Watchstones in the region, you will start getting the awakening bonus, which also affects all boss life, all kind of drops, and all kind of shit on the map modifiers and everything. This is called the awakening uh, level, and there's also the awakening bonus as well. So, uh, practically, guys, one you have all these watchstones, four of them per each region. This is when you can proceed to the very end game and fight the last end game boss, but I'm pretty sure you will uh, know how to do it by the time you get all these bosses down. One thing I will also want to talk about is the overall strategy, how you open the Atlas, because there are two strategies right now which uh, I think um, exist within this new Atlas, which is a bit of a different uh, compared to what we had before. For the first strategy, as uh, because all of these maps has be, will be wide tiers when you start doing it, uh, is basically to just open up all these maps being white tiers which will be cheaper for you and this is what I personally did uh, because I just thought that it will be cheaper to do uh, because when you insert the washstone in, in the region it uh, gets like five, four pl plus more tiers and uh, for a new character who just finished the, the storyline it instantly becomes way more expensive because the yellow tiers of the maps cost like a shit ton right now so yeah that's a bit of a problem uh, and inserting and yet another watchstone here also raises the uh, tiers of the maps by yet another four so uh, they turn into like uh, almost red tiers some of these uh, still stay in the yellow tiers but they dramatically increase and by default, when you start doing the Atlas, you will need uh, to do like about 80 white tiers and about some dozens of yellow tiers. And then you start progressing to the red tiers if you do it like one by one. But you can also insert the watchstones and start doing, for example, doing a bunch of uh, yeah, white tiers. Then you upgrade the, the region uh, like immediately and start doing the yellow tiers in the same region. And then you jump right into the red tiers. 
I think this is this will definitely give you way more experience because you know doing 80 wide tier maps instead of jumping over and over again like is definitely a less experience so what I did I progressed through the white white tiers I cleaned them all because it's cheaper then I braided some regions like one by one I started getting yellow tiers I uh, filled the gaps uh, with the yellow tiers and only then when I got a lot more watchstones I started filling the gaps uh, just a couple of bit of the maps on the red tiers it gave me very uh, steady progression within the atlas I didn't jump anything uh, so yeah, I think it was cheaper and easier to do at the same time uh, Because you will be doing a shit ton of whiter maps. You will not be gaining a lot of experience I dramatically over level the content when I I Wanted to clear everything so I was like level 85 and I still did like level 70 71 72 maps So it definitely gave me absolutely no experience So if you uh, if you have no problems with the currency you will lucky you can jump right into the red tiers or if you feel you have want to be more steady, uh, cheaper and uh, learning the mechanics, learning the new atlas, you uh, may do like I do and just progress uh, through all the white tiers and then slowly progress into the yellow tiers and slowly filling the gaps into the red tiers. So that's my thoughts on the atlas guys, I hope you understood something, thanks for watching and see you soon.